Okay, so a pole is supported by a cable, as shown in the little diagram here. And the cable is attached to the ground nine feet from the base. So the cable is nine feet here from the base, and it's attached to the pole 12 feet from the ground. We want to know which of the following expressions can be used to find that length of the cable. And maybe I'll just abbreviate that as L for length. So part A says it would be 9 squared plus 12 squared. B says 12 squared minus 9 squared. Answer choice C, we take the square root of 9 squared plus 12 squared. Answer choice D says we use the square root of 12 squared minus 9 squared. Okay, so... Um, the, really, the trick to this is just to use the Pythagorean theorem. The Pythagorean theorem. And recall that says if you have a right triangle, let me label this as A, B, and the hypotenuse is C. It says if we take A squared and we add to that B squared, it says that's going to equal c squared. So definitely a formula to, to be familiar with. Well, we've got a right triangle here. Again, my, my diagram is not the best in the world, but we've got a little right triangle, he triangle here. So in this case, the height, that's going to be 12. So 12 squared, that would be like my a, plus, okay, we take the, the, uh, the other side, which is b squared. In this case, that's going to be 9 squared. And that's going to equal the length squared. So we have to be careful because 12 squared plus 9 squared is, is one of the choices. It's one of the answer choices. But that's the length after we square it. We want the length, just, just the length. We don't want the length squared. Well, since we're squaring the length, to get L all by itself, we take the square root. Well, that means we also have to take the square root of the left side, and in this case we don't even have to simplify it. We can just leave it in that form. So it says the length is going to be equal to the square root of 12 squared plus 9 squared. Equivalently, you can write that as the square root of 9 squared plus 12 squared. So just uh, this problem really just has to do with knowing the Pythagorean theorem and being able to apply it to this diagram.